Riding with Rosa Parks, written by Ellen Forrest, illustrated by Chris Baldwin. On the bus, Marisha and her mother were riding the bus. They were on their way to Grandma's house. They had to sit in the back seats. Marisha didn't like the back seat. There was a law that black people had to sit at the back of the bus. Her mother said it was unfair. Some white people came on the bus. Some of the black people had to stand and give them their seats. That was another part of the law. Refusing to stand, but one black woman didn't stand up. Her name was Rosa Parks. She didn't want to move from her seat. The driver told Rosa she had to move, but she said no. Then the driver called the police. The police came and arrested Rosa Parks. Marisa wondered what would happen next. She thought about how brave Rosa Park had been. Everybody knew the law, even if it was unfair. Taking steps, when other people hear what happened to Rosa, they got very upset. They decided to stop riding the city buses. Marisa asked her mom why they had to walk. Her mother said people stopped riding the buses to show that the law was unfair. For a long time, they walked everywhere. Marisa's legs were sometimes very tired. Still, they didn't ride the bus. Making a difference, finally an amazing thing happened. The law was changed. Marisa and her mom could now sit at the front of the bus. They didn't have to stand and give up their seat to white people. Marisa learned that one person could make a difference. She learned people could join together to change things. Today, Rosa Park is a hero because she said no to something that was unfair. She made the law in the United States change. Many other people have followed Rosa's example. They keep working to make sure people of all colors have the same right.